Hey guys, what's up, guys? Here, as I promised, my poly painting ZBrush tutorial is finally here. Let's check this out, and I hope you find it useful. Cheers. As you can see, I've gathered four images of two packs side by side in Photoshop. To gather something, I call it skin color code. I know lightings are different, but uh, the colors, as you can see, are so close. And uh, I get four points from each photo. And uh, I will turn uh, images off just to see the colors. You can see these are all really close. And uh, there's something more to mention. We can see that there is a, a greenish or yellowish color in these areas and uh, we have a overall brown color but it, uh, in front of uh, like nose, cheeks and forehead we can see greenish colors so we have to uh, combine these colors in ZBrush now I just choose a, a, a color for base uh, for base color of the skull and uh, I think this is good to start with and I basically use standard brush and uh, I, uh, with different alphas now I spray it all over his skin uh, at the beginning it looks really harsh but I'm gonna fade it in and uh, it's gonna be used as uh, just a base so there's nothing to worry about. I will try to cover all over his head. Now moving to his body. I just want to uh, combine these colors with the first one and as you can see right now I'm not using any alphas it's just standard brush now I need darker colors for elbows and uh, his back and just to give some uh, variations to skin color And now let's focus a little bit on his head. Darker brown color under eyes, on his eyelids, and a bit um, orange color, and some colors for his eyelids. Uh, sorry for his lacrimal. And now. I, I get some dark colors, dark and um, reddish colors for his lips. Now his nose. Now I'll just unhide everything to see how it looks. Now adding some reddish colors to his ears. As you can see at this point, it's just choosing different colors and adding it uh, here and there just to uh, trying to get something um, unified at the end. But right now, it's just adding different colors, trying to make the skin uh, look um, detailed. Now working on his hair. And he has really uh, short hair, just uh, something beneath the uh, hair that I have applied. It serves more like a shadow to his hair. Adding more dark colors to the skull and 
now choosing red color for his lips and his lower lips should be uh, much brighter than uh, upper lips again adding different shades of red now for the and line above his lips. I added some uh, yellowish color there. And now I just want to make sure that the details on stuff are visible, so I add darker colors. some dark colors, some light colors, just to get a contrast. The same goes with the nose and his eyes. We just repeat this over and over until we get a good looking skin tone. Now I add darker colors that it can serve as a kind of shadow for his beard. Same thing for his eyebrows. And now let's add more dark colors to his body. So it's the same as his head, just adding different colors and dark colors to his nipples. And adding some uh, kind of reddish colors to his roots. Again, adding more dark colors where uh, I have his beard. And some orange and yellowish colors to his cheekbones, also his forehead, just to have some uh, variation to his skin tone. Now adding some uh, dark brown colors to cover his head, his skull, and now uh, working on his back. As you can see at the moment, it's really bright, so I need to darken his skin. And I'm still not using alphas or something, just simple standard brush. Now working on his hands. Let's hide the body to focus on his hand and adding some colors to his nails. It should be really bright to give a contrast to the skin tone of his fingers. I'm just adding some black colors there on the borders. Now 
Now doing the same procedure to his nails. All should look good. Okay. Now adding some white colors. Vincent and adding some dark colors to where his fingers been and dark colors on top of his hand and now for palm uh, for, for his palms we should really make it bright uh, to get a contrast between um, his And now adding really bright color to his paw to get a contrast to the top of his hand. And for in between colors, maybe some red colors just to have kind of a transition to dark brown colors to really bright brown color. And now I'm going to add more colors to, to his body. dark colors here and there and dark colors to his belly button and some dark colors for his body here As you can see, it's looking better because we have so many different colors combined and it just gets better and better by time. Again, adding different colors. some really light orange colors on top of his chest and wounds and back to his head and darker colors on upper lips and 
and sundry light colors, great paints on to give it more variations. I think it looks good. Now oh, let's add some color to the make. I think at the moment his head looks a bit darker than his body. can choose flat color material this way we only can see the color no skull details and we can focus more on adding uh, smaller details to the skin like skin pores and stuff like that and as you can see I have uh, I'm adding this uh, poor details to all over his face At the moment, I only need these poor details in color, but you can have the same things on your skull too. Now I different alphas all over his face. It gives really nice details to his skin, and re I repeat the same thing on his nose cheeks all over his head Now again, working more on his lips. Adding different colors. repeating the same things all over again until we get a good result and now working on his nose trying to, to make uh, those details less visible in some places by adding a different color Still, the skin looks flat. 
had more dark colors under his eyes. different colors to his forehead. Just adding some dark spots in some places. Now trying to define his nostrils shape a bit more. Again, working on his lips. Adding some dark colors to the side of his head and to his mane. Just looking at the from different angles, adding more colors here and there. colors on his cheeks and forehead Now I want to add a tattoo to his neck. Just trying to see where it should be. Hit the control button and drag it. And now that the scale and size is good, we leave it here. different alphas to have even more details on the skin. Now I'm using a, a different alpha. I'm 
now let's try this one with different powder. as both really short hair and also hair shadow. I did it before, added more colors to it, now I'm just adding it again. using the same alpha with a brighter color to his skin. Was a great skin variation at the end. Now adding some bright colors to add a contrast. Nostrils below his eyes. And side of his head bit a bit different color this time maybe green. adding the same detail here and there and some more on his neck all right guys this is for this chapter in the next chapter i'm going to mostly cover adding uh, tattoos to his skin Hope you have enjoyed watching the first chapter, hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also let me know what you would like me to cover in future tutorials. And subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more. Thanks for watching.